ahead of you. Bite marks on his tongue? Are you thinking complex partial seizures? Like you might be doing this and not be consciously aware of it? I was, but uh, the dream aspect has me thinking something else. An ancient tribe in this area had a ritual for giving a young man domain over his dream self. It usually involved torture and deprivation. Well, that kid seems to have a share of both. Yes, pressures which can lead to homicidal rage. You think he's killing these people? There is such a thing as a bad kid, Paul. Did you see the way he ran when that sheriff's car pulled up? Yeah. I think the sheriff might be his father. Travis, can you turn that off now? Dinner's almost ready, son. Start setting the table, please. Today at practice, I kept my part of the bargain, didn't I? I didn't say a word, I let you do it your way. And what was your part of the bargain? To try my hardest. You think you did that? Yeah. Excuse me? Yes. Yes, sir. You think your best is getting your clock cleaned by the likes of Jay Pearson? I tried. Really hard. Show me what you did. I don't want to, Dad. No, come on, son. I'll be you, you be Jay. Come on. Now, you lost your concentration, and you let him get his hands locked behind your neck, which led to you getting slammed, right? So put your arm around my neck. OK, that's it, good. Now, you got a lock? Next time someone does that to you, you do this. <laughs> Hope you learned something. Clean yourself up, finish setting the table. So what we're doing is illegal. Well, I asked the coroner nicely, but he called me honey and told me to run along, so I did with his keys. Broken bones. Some of them crushed into fragments. Baseball bat? Not consistent with the lacerations on his neck and abdomen. Maybe a claw hammer? Well, it's eight hours of the most intense rage I've ever seen. Or sleep deprivation. I don't think there's any way Travis could have done this. Amphetamines can cause aggressive behavior. I said he's on speed. Well, you did. Ritalin is a psychostimulant functionally similar to cocaine. Interesting. Did you find something? It's not what I found, it's what's missing. Half of the tibia. It's as if it had been extracted. Does that mean something to you? It might. I need to speak to some of the locals. We need to start ruling some things out before this happens again. I'm gonna go to the kid's school. If he's in trouble, someone there should know. I wouldn't mind a chance to eliminate the partial seizure theory. How are you gonna do that? Remove a piece of his hippocampus? No. A stakeout. Hi. 
You're the uh, wrestling coach. And the guidance counselor and remedial English Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, I saw you... Uh... Today in the gym. That's right, you were talking to the sheriff. Yeah. I'm actually here about his son, Travis. Okay. Um, is something wrong? How are his grades? Well, they're not great. I mean, he's a bright kid. He's just not conventionally bright. And teachers don't have the time to alter their teaching styles for kids like that, so they're always the ones who fall through the cracks. Where's his mom in all this? She's dead. He does have an aunt over in Hamilton. That's the next county over. But I don't, I don't think she's in the picture. Does he have any friends? No. Not really. Would you say that Travis has any violent tendencies? I wish. No, I'm, I mean, for the wrestling team. <laughs> See, Sheriff Prescott asked me to put him on the team, so I did it as a favor. But as you can see, that kid is not a natural-born athlete. Well, it's probably not a lot of fun when you're getting trounced on by kids twice your size. Well, you know, sometimes a good ass kicking is just what a boy needs to keep him in line. His father agree with you? His father is a single parent who's doing everything he can to make that boy into a man. Little ass kicking to keep him in line, huh? Listen. Sheriff Prescott is one of the good guys, okay? Now, whatever goes on in that household is not really any of my business. You're Travis's guidance counselor. I think it is your business. I think I'm finished talking to you. Scotch, if you please, and a uh, glass of water. A colorful establishment you have here. There's a bar for guys like you outside town called the Rainbow. Maybe you should go there. Tim got na kwega mek and a kindergarten sangita. Jim ni kwea. Dad know you're here? He doesn't care. 
Looks like you come here a lot. Nobody knows about it. Except for me. And Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? He's my best friend. He uh, goes to this reform school a couple towns over in Medicine Hat. How'd you meet him then? Out there. A while ago. We talk about life and junk. I mean, Jimmy's really smart. You know, he's the smartest person I know. Way smarter than me. Sounds like quite a guy. Is there any way I could, uh, I could talk to him? He won't come here if he sees you. Why not? 